Thing. The, the main obstacle to any parent at the moment is the inaccessibility to child care. And if you have one income, you are a lot less likely to be able to afford child care, which is incredibly unaffordable, even for couples. But, I mean, However, the, the key point... is more fundamental No, 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 I, that, right? yeah, I've just yeah. went on a bit of a tangent there. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, the, the key point is that what children need is love, support and time. The composition of the people in the home of the child is incredibly irrelevant. It's how no, much it's love, not, support and time time no, the people I mean. in the house have whether that is one person two people three people or a commune of people that is the commune. relevant hold on hold on because 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 a what's what is it two Amy. rubbish parents or one brilliant no, no, dedicated no. parent I, I have loads to, of time I, I have to child. I have to challenge Exceptions hold on make the the I have to, I have to challenge the Sean, Sean, is you come irrelevant. I have to challenge what Amy's saying mm -hmm. Look, firstly let me quickly talk about the government the government absolutely should have a minister or a ministry for families. That way that... And some countries do. And we absolutely yeah. should have one here because some of the long-term problems we have will not be answered by the police, the courts, schools. They'll be answered by family. Mm. Look, at, look at lockdown or what it did to the psychological development of our children. That needs to be answered by families. A minister would help that process. I have to challenge slightly what Amy said. The makeup of the family is incredibly important. I come from a single-parent family, but I also come from a very large family. And in many cases, it just meant lots of us were struggling because we didn't have that dual income, wh wh whichever part of my family mm. you, you came from. And let's be clear, the composition of your family matters in two very important ways. If you come from a single parent family, even if like me, you were in a big, large extended family, you're much more likely to be in poverty. And if you take Amy's point about time, time costs money. Mm. Parents who have more money give more time. Those children do better. That is a fact. Okay, well, let, 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 it's me, let Amy quality, respond to that. It's quality over quantity of parenting every single time. And the main thing that harms children during their childhood is conflict. If you're encouraging people to stay in couples because mm. this composition no, but, means no, well, so Sean, much. But Sean, but Sean, can we just before. tackle that specific point, though, Sean? Because I think, actually, Amy makes a fair point. You were a huge advocate of marriage. In fact, you were on yeah. The Clash just the other week talking about why you believe actually marriages should be encouraged. Now, of course they should, but what happens, Sean, when the marriage is broken down? Is it better for two people to stay together completely unhappy, fighting no. all the time? Look, look, you leave. So let's be very clear about this. What Amy has done is personalised it in a way that means people say, oh yeah, I wouldn't want to stay in that situation. But look at the flip side of that situation. No, Hold on. People from married couples, their children and those people do better. Less time in jail, less time in hospital, pay why, more taxes, why... oh, blah, blah, blah. But the other pieces, when you ask me about marriage, the thing I always also support is no fault divorce. It's, this has got nothing to do with making people stay together. It's got nothing to do with judging single parents. I come from a single parent family. I watch my mother struggle for years. Mm. My mum is superhuman. If there was any justice in the world, my mum would be a billionaire. But the point is, it doesn't work like that. And what I would want for my daughter is not what happened to my mum.